And it is just that simple. All you have to do is ask. You see the light coming out of Rebecca's eyes, out of her entire countenance, that light that shows, yes, indeed, she's been touched by God. She has joy, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. You can have that too. Realize God knows you by name. He numbers the hairs on your head. You are a vital concern to him. You know, we can get tempted into thinking, well, God's not really concerned about me. Or we can be tempted into thinking, well, I've gone too far. I've done too many things in my will that God doesn't really want to deal with me anymore. He, he wants to reject me. All of those things are lies. That's not what the scripture says. The scripture says, while we were sinners, Christ died for us. There is no sin that can separate you from the forgiveness or the healing of God. That's what Jesus said. There is no sin that cannot be forgiven. A lot of people want to make a lot of hay out of, you know, blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Don't do that. It, God wants to forgive you. The blood of Jesus Christ is sufficient for you. By his stripes, you were healed. You are healed. Have these thoughts in your mind when you come and ask for it that he's already promised. And he who has promised is able to deliver for you. All you have to do is believe it. So if you're having doubts, do yourself a favor. Doubt your doubts. Don't doubt the word of God. Don't doubt his love. Don't doubt his forgiveness. Don't doubt his healing. Don't doubt that when you ask, he will provide. Jesus said it again and again and again. If you, who among you, if you had a child and you asked him for bread, they, they, your father would give you a stone. No, it doesn't work that way. He gives you what you ask for. So let's come asking. Before we ask, here's some other miracles that have happened. Here's Glenda, who was watching the 700 Club on January 12th. Terry gave a word that people were being healed of neuropathy. Well, I was having tingling and numbness in my lower leg and feet, which was caused by a back injury. Immediately after Terry prayed, all of it went away. I was so thankful. Praise Jesus, he is faithful. Wow, well, here's another one. This is amazing. Rhonda wrote by email and she said, I had a mass under my right clavicle bone that was large enough for me to feel with my fingers. Testing identified the swollen lymph goat at, go, lo, node as cancer. And on the 10th of January this year, Gordon, you said someone suffering from a cyst or a mass in the upper right part of your to torso, just below your collarbone, your shoulder bone, God is going to dissolve that for you and he's going to take that completely away. She says, I claimed it by faith. A PET scan on the 26th, this is just a short time ago, reported <laughs> the mass is completely gone, the lymph node has returned to normal size and shows no sign of cancer. Praise be to Jesus, the healer. Hallelujah. Amen. Let your day be filled with hallelujah for what God wants to do for you. He loves, he delights in taking care of his children. He wants to take care of you. So let's come to him believing. If two or more of you agree touching anything, it shall be done for them by my Father in heaven. These are the words of Jesus. Let those words cast out any doubt, any unbelief. Terry and I are going to be your two or more. You be the one that reaches out and touches. We'll agree as you touch, and God will do the rest. Lord God Almighty, we come to you. We come to you with thanksgiving. We, we see your wonderful works. We hear these wonderful reports of people who've been healed whether it's heart arrhythmia, whether it's a lymph node that was cancerous, uh, cysts, all of these things. Lord God, you're able. So we ask you, mm. and as we ask, we reach out and we put a hand on that area of the body that needs healing. We come into agreement now touching it, and we say out loud over it, be healed and be made whole. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, I am healed. I receive all the benefits that Jesus died for, what he gave himself for. I receive them now 
in Jesus' name. There's someone you're laying your right hand across your belly. I don't know the condition, but I just know it's like fire in it. It, it, There's a burning sensation. God is healing you right now. All of that is being taken away from you. You just felt it move within your innermost being. In the name of Jesus, be healed and be made whole. There's someone else. I don't know if this is a person or several people, but I I just see a wallet and there's hardly anything in it. And you have worked hard. You've strived to accomplish more. You've strived to bring in more. You have finally come to the end of yourself. I want you to, in your mind, take that wallet and put it on the altar before God and ask him to be your provider now to show you that he is for you, not against you. He's gone before you. He is going to provide everything that you need. Release it and give it to God in Jesus' name. There's someone you've had a a fracture in your right wrist. Both of the bones were broken and it's not healing properly. You're in pain and you're very concerned. God is re-knitting everything together. In the name of Jesus, be healed and be made whole. Uh, there, there's someone you're praying for a prodigal and um, you're, you're saying, please let them come home, let them come to themselves. So Lord God, we ask you now that you would speak, that you would send messengers after your own heart, that they would come to themselves and come home and come home to you. Bring prodigals home, Lord God. Be with them. Encourage them. Let them know how much you love them. Let them sense your presence and return. There, there are a number of you, but, but, well, there are a number of you who have like debilitating pain. You are believers. You love Jesus with all of your heart, but you've kind of lost faith a little bit because you've endured so much pain. God's healing today. Right now, today, just stand up and say yes and lift up your hands and take that. Say, yes, God, I receive it and begin to praise him and thank him in Jesus' name as that pain begins to wane and leave you. Uh, There's someone uh, specifically, you're raising your hands, you have rheumatoid arthritis Mm -hmm. in both of them and the inflammation is visible. Your hands are, are literally turned red. God is healing them right now. You just felt a cool touch go through them. All of that arthritis is leaving you, that inflammation, the body warring against itself, all of that is gone now in Jesus' name. There's someone else, it's a man, your name is Tom. You've had a crush injury to your spine. It's in the lower part and it's affected the nerve that goes out and down into your right leg. God is able. He is able to heal and restore what you couldn't do before. He's calling you out by name, Tom. He wants you healed. He wants you restored now in Jesus' name. Just receive it, praise him for it, and do what you couldn't do before and receive your healing. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for all that you do, how wonderful you are and that you loved us so much that you gave yourself, you gave your soul as a sacrifice for our sin. We thank you for it, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. If you've been healed, let us know. Share your good report with us. Call us 1-800-700-7000. If you need prayer, we're here for you. And we're here for you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It would be our honor, our privilege to pray for you We believe in prevailing prayer, the prayer that doesn't give up until you get the answer. So call us, 1-800-700-7000.